Gehrig was diagnosed with ALS in the late 1930s. There's been two constants about this disease. It's fatal, and most patients only live a couple of years. But now there is a renewed hope. ALS patients may live longer after they're diagnosed, and that doctors have taken a giant step toward a cure. Our Jeff Buter explains. Bay Area residents Steve Franks and Matt June are two of the 30,000 Americans dealing with ALS. And Steve knows the sobering fact of his neuromuscular disease. About the only thing known for sure with ALS is it will kill you. But soon, this disease might not be fatal for Matt or Steve or the 30,000 others. Dr. Clifton Gooch from USF's College of Medicine told me about a breakthrough discovery researchers at Northwestern made finding a common thread in almost all ALS patients. They have a protein called ubiquilin that's malfunctioning. Dr. Gooch had a really good metaphor to explain what happens when it malfunctions. Ubiquilin basically acts as the body's trash man, throwing away some of the bad stuff in your body. But in the ALS patients, it's not working, and the bad stuff, the trash, keeps piling up. And when that happens, it really starts to gunk up the works of the cell. But knowing it's happening in patients like Steve and Matt is a good thing, because now doctors and researchers, including those at USF, can focus on treatments that would reverse it. And now that we know where the watch is broken, we have to re replace or refine the gear that's not working right, so we can get it ticking again. Gooch says this isn't necessarily a cure, but if they find the treatment that works, it will help moderate the disease, prolong the lives of patients like Steve and Matt, and could go a long way to eventually leading to a cure. I'm Jeff Butera.